What up, what up, everybody? This your boy KO, and you know how I do it. Let's take this ride. This is my interview with life. It's another interview with life in the car I got. Benny. What is it? Benny. Benny. What's up, Benny? Me and Benny just got, hey, we, we, we was having like, okay, a trip out this. Benny is one of the most enlightened guys that I've talked to concerning this whole uh, uh, a presidential thing. Can you tell them what you just said? You're more concerned about what, bro? I'm more concerned about my alderman and my mayor before I'm concerned about the president. Because at this, at, at this point, to be, to be realistic about it, Ain't nothing no president have ever done. It really affected me personally. That's good or bad. Good or bad. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's exactly what I'm saying. And like we get so caught up on field politics and emotional politics that we lose sight of the things that really affect us directly. Wouldn't you agree? I totally agree. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, 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 Kamala Harris, like like I said, and excuse me from blocking that, Kamala Harris, like I said, she she made her career in what? Like most people don't even know. They don't. She, 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 she's a, what, what you call it, district attorney? She was a district attorney or something like that. That's right. That's right. She made her career in. Locking people up. Locking people up. And more specifically. Locking black folks up. Locking black folks up. I mean, I thought I was tripping, right? And let's not even talk about what Joe Biden was talking about. I I, I know that I'm beating a dead horse by bringing this up, but like we like to do field politics and not really get into the truisms of what's really going on. So what's your stance on it, Benny? My what you stance on it, just let's face the fact, when Barack Obama was running president, if he picked a black vice president, he never would have made it. He was advised to pick Joe Biden to get the white vote. Message? They told they told him to do what? They told him to pick a white uh, uh, vice president because if he was like president, he would never became president. He would have never became president. Make a left right here. Uh, yeah, I think so. And the bad part about it is, I'm Lisa. She actually it, watch when she pick a vice president, it's gonna be a white guy. If she pick a vice president, it's gonna be a white dude. Yes, exactly. And so we got to get out of field politics. Field politics don't do nothing. You said it don't matter what. Say what you said. You said it don't matter which president really did something for black people specifically. Okay, think about it. Think about it. I'm 66 years old now. I go all the way back to Kennedy. Everybody, everybody <laughs> loved John F. Kennedy. But remember, when 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 dogs were biting black folks and in the water holes, it was on his watch. That was on his. Say it. Say it for the people in the back, man. Okay, when back in the day when they were putting the dogs on the black folks and the water holes and all that old kind of kind of, that was on John F. Kennedy's watch. And, and Bill Clinton had his hand in what? The three strikes are out? Yeah, and Bill Clinton. Crime Bill? Yeah, Bill Clinton. Uh, John F. Kennedy was Bill Clinton's hero. And, and Ronald Reagan put a uh, crack into the neighborhood. Y'all ain't never seen Snowfall? Yeah. I was around back then, too. Ooh. To fight a, 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 a war in Nicaragua? Yeah. And then they criminalized it after they pumped it into the neighborhood. Right, because because what the deal was at that time was black people started going to college and getting degrees turned on. They didn't want to slow that down. Say it, well, say that one more time, bro. I don't think at, they heard you. At that time, black folks was going to college, getting degrees and turned on. They did that to slow it down. They did that to slow it down. It kind of sounds like when um when the crime rates and all of the stuff was going down during the conscious movement, the conscious thought process era, they had to criminalize the imagery of black people. I mean, we accepted it readily, but, but you know, poor righteous teachers, Queen Latifah, KRS-One, you must learn, you know, public enemy, X-Clan, Money Love, mm -hmm. and then we got gangster rap in the 90s. Is that a coincidence? Yes. I think, I, I, I'll tell you about the incident that happened to me years ago. I'm going straight, brother? Uh, yeah. Tell me about that incident that happened the to you. The incident happened to me years ago. I was uh, um, I was working on Freeman Bosley's campaign for mayor. Okay. Okay. And we was passed out the little leaflets outside the polling place. It just so happened this particular polling place was uh, close to the uh, Republican uh, uh, campaign office, right? Right. 
and it it, it was in uh, November. And if the Republican news that had down pat, they actually told me to come in and, and Republican campaign office. I had a handful of Democratic stuff. They told me to come in and get one. Because they thought I was so low on the dope tongue pole that it didn't even count. It wasn't, they said back there gave me hot chocolate and, uh, and, and, and fed me chili. I'm sitting in the middle of the Republican campaign office with a handful of Democratic leaders. I don't think black people know that we uh, historically voted Republican, but that's a whole nother conversation. Yeah, I know. But I, the, the field politics, brother, the field politics, we got to get out of that, bro. Listen, y'all need to go check out what she said on the Grio, what Kamala Harris said on the Grio. She said, I'm not going to do nothing for black people specifically. Yeah, I heard that one. Joe Biden got on TV and said, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. I yeah, heard that one too. That shit is crazy. You know you didn't make that turn right there. Make it right? Yeah, right here. Like going towards that bus stop. Keep on down. Right here? Yeah. Well, yeah. But see, the thing is, black folks need to keep going straight. Yeah. They need to keep concentrating more on local politics because unless you on Social Security or something like that, it's really not going to affect you. If you're 23 years old, and you mean in no kind of government program, what the government is going to do does not even affect you unless they start drafting people. Either. Yeah, I need to worry about what's going on on the local level, Dow. I try to tell people that. Stop being, see, stop being so caught up in field politics. They got so many local uh, benefits and local money that you can get. That they don't even know anything. They don't know anything about it because they too concentrated on uh, world politics. Right. Right. Where I'm going to, bro? Going to this school here. Right here. Yeah. It's gonna turn down the back. Yeah. Turn down here. Turn, yeah, down, turn down, down the back because you're going. You're going into the. You're going to the back. This way. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. Uh. uh there's a lot of programs out there where you can get your utility paid and all that. You worry about combination and all that other type of stuff, and you miss out. Then the foreigners come get all the money. They come get all the money. We're going there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're going straight down that little alleyway. Straight down the alleyway. That brown, car, that brown car. We're going there, right there. Yeah. yeah. So, what would you advise the youngsters to do, man? I advise, I advise the uh, 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 youngsters to learn. First of all, before you get in all that, all that complicated stuff, at least. If you don't know nothing, at least find out who your alderman is, where you stay, if nothing else. Yeah, we going in there. At least find out who your alderman is. I mean, I mean, you might not be up on, because see, I'm going to that door right up. Yeah, you, uh, 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 you, uh, uh, like I said, at least your alderman can find out, it's like, for for instance, uh, when the, when the Mary St. Louis first got elected, she was giving out Five hundred dollar checks, because they had the St. Louis city of St. Louis had excess money. But if you so worried about what's going on, you didn't even know anything about it. The only qualifications you had to get the check was not have the job. Period. Nothing else. And she was giving away five hundred dollar checks when she first got in the office. But if you're not, if you don't know anything about your ottoman account, of those kind of programs like that, you don't know nothing about. And then some foreigners come into town and carry on. So, and, so, so, uh, uh, illegal immigrants and people don't like to say illegal immigrants. Uh, let's be politically correct. Uh, undocumented, uh, individuals. <laughs> let, let's say that. Let's just say that for the sensitive people, right? The, mm -hmm. you know, the lefties, right? Okay. Um, do black people know how that affects your bottom line? No, they don't. Like I tell everybody before they get out, man, I love you, brother. I appreciate you, man. All right, then. and thank yeah. you for and thank yeah. you for allowing me to interview you. Yeah, like I said, if you don't know nothing about nothing else, at least find out what your ultimate is. That's right. Yeah.